Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how we can get input from checkboxes in PHP. This is going to be a pretty cool tutorial because not only are we going to learn how to get input from text boxes, but we're also going to see how we can use arrays out in the real world. So this is going to be an example where we're actually get information from the user. We'll store that information inside of an array and then we can kind of work with it. So this is going to be pretty cool. Now over here in my program, I have just sort of a basic program set up already. Um, down here I have a form and you can see the action is site.php. That's this file that I'm currently working on. And then over here, the method is post. And then down here we have our submit button. So this is a pretty standard form. And then down here in our PHP, I haven't actually written anything yet. So what I want to do is I want to show you guys how we can work with checkboxes and a checkbox is basically just, you know, like a little box where you can check and what we'll actually do is we'll have like a list of checkboxes. So we'll have like four or five and what we're going to do is we're going to allow the user to select their favorite fruits. So I'm going to have like a little list of a bunch of fruits and the user will be able to check which fruits they like and they'll be able to submit that information to us. So it's gonna be pretty cool. And it'll just kind of demonstrate how we can use checkboxes and how we can also use arrays. So over here, um, right on top of this submit, I'm gonna make another input. I'm just gonna say input, the type is gonna be equal to checkbox. So this is basically gonna tell HTML that we wanna create a checkbox. And then over here, I want to give this a name. So I'm gonna say name is equal to, I'm just gonna call this fruits and I'm going to make an open and closed square bracket. Now, whenever we're trying to get input from like multiple checkboxes, we always want to put these square brackets here. And basically that's going to signify that we're going to store all of these fruits inside of an array. And once they're in the array, it'll be a lot easier for us to work with them and do different things with them. And finally, I want to put one more attribute down here, which is going to be value. And value is essentially going to be the value that this checkbox is going to have associated to it. So we're going to have this checkbox be a checkbox for apples. So that's going to be our first fruit. So if the user checks this checkbox, that means that they like apples because that's the value over here. And then I'm just going to put a break over here. And actually I'm going to do one more thing. So I'm going to come over here to the left of this input and I'm just going to type out what it is for. So I'll just say apples and now what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to do this for uh, a bunch of different fruits. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this line of code and I'm basically just going to paste it down here a few times. So why don't we do like three different fruits? So we'll do apples. Let's do oranges. So I'm just going to change this to oranges over here. And then over here on the value, I'm also going to change this to oranges. And then down here, why don't we do pears? So this one's going to be pears. And then once again, over here, I'm going to change this to pairs. So we have a checkbox for three different fruits and, you know, making the checkbox is pretty simple. Again, we just have to specify the type. We have to give it a name. And remember, if we want all of these checkboxes to sort of be stored inside of the same array, in other words, if we want the values that the user checks to be stored in the same container in the same array, we have to name it just like this. And then finally, we give each of these a value. So if I was to refresh my page, you'll see over here that we get um, all these different checkboxes. And what's cool about checkboxes is I could check multiple boxes. So, you know, I can basically just check and uncheck as many as I want. Here's the question, though. What I want to do is I want to be able to get the values that the user checks. So if the user checks apples and oranges, when they click submit, I want to be able to get that information. Right. If they select all three, I want to be able to get that information. And because the user is able to select multiple pieces of information here, we're storing it inside of an array. And remember, an array is just a container that can hold multiple pieces of information. And that's basically what I was saying down here in this name. I'm saying I want to store all of these values. In other words, I want to store the values that the user checks inside of this fruits array. So inside of our PHP now, we can actually get that information. So what I can do is I can come down here and I'm going to create a variable called fruits and I'm going to set this equal to dollar sign underscore post in all capitals. And remember, I use post up here. So I want to use post down here and I'm going to make an open and close square bracket. And inside of here, we're just going to type out fruits. So I'm basically typing out the name that I specified up here 
although we're gonna leave off the square brackets. We don't need that. So down here, I now am storing all the fruits that the user checked and submitted inside of this variable. And actually, this is an array. So this is an array that's holding all the fruits that the user checked from the checkbox. So I could come down here and why don't we just like echo this out just so we can kind of see what's going on. So I'll echo out fruits zero. So this is basically gonna tell us what the first fruit that was checked is. So over here back on our web browser, I'm just going to refresh the page and now I'm gonna go ahead and do this. So I'm gonna check apples and oranges. So I'm checking two of these different boxes. When I click submit, we should be printing out apples because that was the first checkbox that I checked. So now when I click submit, you see we're getting apples down here. If I was to come over here and print out fruits one, so this is gonna be the second fruit in the list. Now, if I do the same thing, so if I do apples and oranges, we should be printing out oranges because that was the second element that was stored inside of that array. If I only checked one of these though, since I'm trying to print out the second element in the array, it should be blank. So now you can see it's blank. And if I did like oranges and pears, now we'll be printing out pears. So that's basically how these checkboxes work, right? I can set up all these different checkboxes and because I gave them all the same name over here, they're all gonna be stored inside of the same array. So when I click that submit button, all that information is getting passed back to PHP on the server. And it's basically storing that information inside of an array. And then I can work with that information and do different things with it. So this is a pretty useful thing to do on your websites. And as you can see, it's very simple, right? And we can use that array structure in order to store all of that information. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.